I've got three different flammable liquids here. Actually, two different flammable liquids, but these are a little bit different. I've got regular isopropyl alcohol here for two of them. Um, but the difference is this is 70%, this is 91%. So we know this one has more alcohol, this one has more water than the other one. Um, this is acetone. Now, we've talked before about when a liquid burns, a flammable liquid like alcohol. When it burns, what's actually burning? Is the liquid burning? Does the liquid burn? Not really. What burns? The oxygen the inside fumes. of it. The fumes, right? So it's actually the fumes because alcohol is something that evaporates fairly quickly. So as it evaporates, it's changing from what to what? What's happening when something's evaporating? It changes from it changes a liquid to a gas. gas. Yeah, it changes from a liquid to a gas, right? So it's actually the gas, the vapors that come off that are burning. Which goes to say that the faster we can make it evaporate, the better it would burn. Can we agree with that? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's see if that's true. But if we put a little bit of the alcohol out here, I can make a little puddle of it. I can light the little puddle on fire. And it's going to burn. Kind of slowly and steadily, right? Because again, the alcohol vapors, as the alcohol evaporates, it's going up into the air and it's burning off. Once all the alcohol is burned out, what do we be left with? What, what else is in the 70% alcohol? Water. 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 So you still see, even where it's not burning anymore, the table's still wet, right? Because that's just the water that's left behind. Now when we do our 91%, First of all, you notice it burns maybe a little faster. bit bigger, right? Yeah. Burning a little bit faster. And but you also notice there's not a lot left behind. Yeah. Where the other had 30% water, this only has 9% water, so it's going to leave very little water behind. When it's done. see if we can tell which is which when we burn these. Let's see, let's connect them there so we can line them both together. Just see if you can tell which uh, is the 70 and which is the 91. 91. 91. It burns faster. So you're saying that in the front's the 91? Yes. Because it's burning much faster, isn't it? Yes. Uh, the 70%, I'm honestly not sure if it's going to make it all the way down the line or not. No. Um, it's burning very slowly, and it's evaporating off, and probably by the time it actually makes it down here, the alcohol is going to be about evaporated out. Look at that. So obviously the higher concentration of alcohol makes for a much more quickly spreading fire, and obviously, you know, in the event of a fire, it would be the more dangerous of the two, right? Yes, sir. Well, obviously, yeah, the, the more, the better a liquid's going to burn, the better it is as a fire starter. It's the reason, though, you uh, do I even have a dollar with me? Let's see. We've done the burning dollar, right? Yeah. But that's the reason why, when I do the burning dollar, I'm going to do it with 70% alcohol. Because, just add a little in here. But when we do the burning dollar, 
we're going to use the 70% alcohol. And I can light it. And it'll burn, and it looks pretty spectacular. But it doesn't hurt the dollar bill. And when I get done, the dollar bill is still wet. Now, what would happen if I used the 91% alcohol instead? It would be dry. Well, if the, the dollar bill would be dry, so what would happen to it when I lit it on fire? It would burn. It would burn up. Now, I'm not going to do this with my dollar bill, but I will do it with a little piece of paper. Does anybody have somebody turn me off a piece of paper? Okay. What the hell? No work. Okay, pass it up. Pass it up. Uh, Alright, so we do it with a piece of paper. I hope there, there's math on here. I hope you didn't need it. Yeah, I showed the test yesterday. Okay, so here's here's our paper with our 70% alcohol. You'll see it'll behave much like the dollar bill did. It's going to burn. We can put it out and not hurt too bad, right? The paper, because it's, uh, the dollar bill is made out of more cloth material, it doesn't tend to singe as much, but. You still get the idea. Paper stays pretty safe, right? Yeah. But if instead we were to use the 91%, okay, let's just watch the difference when we light this. Okay, so this is the 91% alcohol. Let's just watch what happens as we light this. So, as you can see, um, I don't want that happening to my dollar. That would be bad. So that's that's the difference between that little bit of water that's in the alcohol being able to keep, kind of absorb the heat and keep the dollar bill cool. So if you ever do the burning dollar trick, be careful what kind of alcohol you use. Or use somebody else's dollar. <laughs> All right, but one more thing we're going to look at now. We saw the alcohol. Alcohol evaporates kind of quickly, right? But it's not super fast. Even the 91% alcohol doesn't evaporate super quickly. We're going to look at something that evaporates very quickly, and that is acetone. And we're just going to spray some of that on the table, and I think you'll see a bit of difference. Go, three, two, one, burning acetone. So what do we notice different about the acetone compared to the alcohol? It burns really, really fast. It burns really quick. It burns bright. It burns hot um, because the acetone evaporates extremely quickly. Yeah, so that's why also, you know, when you're working with flammable liquids, if you've got something like acetone that's very quick evaporating and you get a little spark, it can make a big explosion. Uh, gasoline evaporates fairly quickly. That's why at the gas pump, um, you don't want to have fire around the gas pump because if you're ever pumping gas, you notice you can smell those fuel vapors and those are flammable vapors. So anytime, anytime something, you know, flammable liquids are evaporating, it has the potential to make a nice explosion, especially if it's in a confined area, or a nice fire. We'll do one more here with the acetone. Burning acetone in three, two, one. There it is. Pretty cool stuff. So that is our fun with fire tip for today. We're gonna pack up, get ready to switch here in just a few minutes.